Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is MTG Ghoul Dude and today we're going to be hopping back into my deck tech series. Uh, so, to start us off, back off, uh, I'm going to show y'all my Timna Chrome Zombie Combo deck. This is more or less like my hardest attempt to go deep into the CDH uh, format. But starts off, we're going to have Chrome, Ludovic's Opus. Whenever it, an opponent casts a, their second spell, each turn you draw a card. It has Partner, and then we're going to go with Timna the Weaver. She has Lifelink at the beginning of your post-combat main phase. You gain a life, you pay X life, and draw X cards. So, starts off, we're going to go into our Mana Artifacts, which I'm really looking to... Going ahead and you know, just getting better artifacts in the deck as I go. Uh, Lotus, Jewel Lotus is one of them. I don't know what utilization I would use it for for Chrom or for Timna, but Jewel Lotus is definitely a good include for a deck like this for the fast mana. So, Lotus Petal, Soul Ring. Which this is, I actually have the soul ring, and it's a friend of mine gave it to me. Uh, Arcane Signet, Zorius Signet, Boro Signet, Demir Signet, Felwar Stone, Is It Signet, Orzov Signet, Rakdos Signet, all the talismans, talismanic fiction, creativity, dominance, hierarchy, indulgence, and progress. Then we're going to move into the all. Uh, the regular artifacts, which most of these are the part of the combos of the deck. <clears throat> so we got Altar of the Brood, Wishclaw Talisman, which is a tutor, Bantu's Monument, which goes into the infinite damage loops of the deck, and Phyrexian Altar, which is part of almost all the loops in the deck. Uh, so, probably something quicker to cover, which would be the enchantments of the deck, and every single one of these has a uh, as you could say, a combo potential in it. Goblin Bombardment, so whenever we're sacking the Grave Crawler, or the Fan Bearer, or the Grim Initiate, over and over and over again, we have, uh, whenever, enter the Battlefield Triggers. I mean, uh, leave the Battlefield Triggers, and for Impact Tremors, we have enter the Battlefield Triggers, so we can constantly just cycle through getting multiple creatures all at once. Underworld Breach is for... The different lines in the deck where if we want to just go on ahead and start uh, playing cards from our graveyard like the how oh, what was it there was a specific combo in the deck that required the underworld breach but I digress this is mostly just uh you know the what's what of zombie combos <clears throat> And then you have the Bastion of Remembrance, which this is the more the leave the battlefield trigger or dies triggers. So then we're going to head into the only planeswalker in the deck and get that out of the way. Uh, Liliana, as you know, the minus three is what we're looking for so we can play any of the one drops back if we have the Phyrexian Altar. Uh, yeah. Uh, for our digging, we have a Faithless Looting, a Demonic Tutor, a Ransack the Lab. I love this card. I don't know about y'all, but I love this card. I wasn't too big on it at first because I was like, well, it's just three cards. But for two mana, three cards, and one into your hand, that's not that bad. Thrilling Discovery for more uh, discard and draw, more loot and effects. Jessica's Will because it's just a good card. Toxic Deluge is, I think, the only board wipe we have in the deck. We're really not looking to interact with the different with the people on the board. We're just trying to hurry up and get our combo going. Now the mana base is extremely expensive from uh, because this is I pulled all the resources that I have from all of my decks that I've built and I threw them into this deck. So we have all the shocks all the fetches all the duels that can run these colors not all the shot not all the fetches because some of the fetches I just like well it's it doesn't have green in it so I didn't just didn't put it in there field of the dead really would benefit from that though because we have so many different non 
uh, basic lands with different names entering the battlefield, it'll just trigger every single time. Which we do not have a way to fetch that either. So uh, Then we have Unholy Grotto, a swamp, that John Avon swamp. The Sunbaked Canyons, the all the Horizon Lands that could go in here. Silent Clearing. And like I said, we do have Field of the Dead. So we do want to use all non all the lands that don't share a name. To, so the snow lands, some of the snow lands are in here. Uh yeah, and Gary Sanitarium is more of a pet card of mine, you know, just it's in my chainer deck, and I just love playing it. Forbidden Orchard. Uh, Godless Shrine. Thought about putting a Gemstone Caverns in here, but I didn't know how well it would go over. So, for the instance, <clears throat> we're going to go, we're going to start off with Entomb, which helps throw something into the graveyard if we need it, like a Gravecrawler. Miscast for the cheap removal. This beautiful Path to Exile that I pulled out of a pack. Uh, silence for you know when you're ready to finally go off and you don't want nobody bothering you. Swan Song, a braid, brain freeze. That's one that I was looking for. Um, there is, I don't think without the Ashnod's altar, there is a way to like consistently loop this back and forth. But if you really were desperate to try and fill your graveyard for that underworld breach, this will probably be the way to do it. Uh, D Spark. Dovin's Veto, Fracture, those are all just good removal, especially at the two drop slot. Infernal Grasp, beautiful card. Love this card in standard. Limb Duels Vault for more looting. Memory Lapse, Reality Shift, which is more removal. Thrill of Possibility, which this goes in the looting category as well. Fire Covenant, this could be a board wipe in a way, if there are a few creatures out on the board. And Frantic Search, which is the loot effects, and you get to untap. So, as you can tell, we're kind of short on the card draw effects, except for the looting. We don't just have any just straight-out card draw, besides our commander, one of our commanders. Well, both of our commanders, actually. So, hop into the creatures. All of the one-drops in the deck can function as uh, parts of the combos in the deck because of Liliana. If you get Liliana out there, you neg three or all of your zombies you can cast for whatever mana you sack them for. So if you sack Fan Bear for white, you can consistently play Fan Bear as long as you have Liliana. Uh, the same goes for Grim Initiate. It does not have the Gravecrawler Claws, but with the Liliana, you can just cycle it through just like Gravecrawler. And also with Gravecrawler, you leave a body behind, so that's two. So if you needed to say, sack this sack the amass token you could cast the brain freeze from your graveyard with underworld breach so that's another little spicy thing to add to the combos uh maggot carrier which is just good value you cycle it and it whenever it dies each opponent loses one life it will, each player loses a life shambling ghast just value when you go to cycle it with liliana Corpse Knight, we don't have any uh, infinite mana outlets, so that's probably something I might would look into, except for maybe the Underworld Breach. Corpse Knight, Wayward Servant, Diagraph Captain, Plague Belcher, Vengeful Dead, all of those serve the when a creature dies it deals damage lines in the combos. <clears throat> so you could have Diagraph, Captain, Grim Initiate, a Phyrexian Altar, and Liliana, and you could just go to town. Just start running them out. Uh, Diagraph Colossus is one of those make another zombie for a zombie. Liliana Standard Bear, a form of card remove, card draw whenever you need, uh, whenever somebody wipes your board preemptively. Or if you just decided you want to just swing all out with a horde of zombies. Overcharged Amalgam, I haven't really used this one yet, but I think it's good. It's good in standard for me. I play it on Arena. Torment of the Desk Grader, another one of those Diagraph Colossus effects, but whenever it leaves the battlefield, instead of whenever you cast it. Uh, 
God Eternal Oketra is also one of those that we use. Uh, it creates a 4-4 instead of a 2-2, so that's extremely no notable. And then we come up with our last zombie. <clears throat> Note, I haven't used any non-zombie creatures in, the, in this deck at all besides the commanders. It's just something that I I'm, I build to a theme, to a T, to a, cru to a uh, crutch, if anything. And uh, Deathbringer Thoktar, for those that don't know, this actually is like a uh, a pinger when a creature dies. So it's it's an on-death trigger, but it's also uh, its own like walking ballista for zombies. So whenever another creature is put into a graveyard from play, you may put a counter on Deathbringer Thoktar. Let's remove a plus one plus one counter from Deathbringer Thoktar. It deals one damage to target creature or player. So basically what you're going to do is as you're sacrificing the the creatures that you're running through you're putting counters on Deathbringer. Now this means you don't even have to go through the different lines of trying to find a, uh, a Bantu's Monument or a Vengeful Dead or anything like that. You can just find just randomly have the Deathbringer Thoctor in your hand and as long as you have a way to sacrifice a zombie you're in business. Because <clears throat> you can just sack a zombie, remove a counter, play the zombie back, sack it, and it just keeps going. And it just gets it, it gets even faster as long as you have like Goblin Bombardment or Impact Tremors because it just runs faster with it. But alright guys, that's my Timnacrom zombie combo deck. Don't let the price tag fool you. This is a fairly easy to put together deck especially if you just wanted to buy the shocks and fetches and some of the five color lands I might do a budget build of this deck most of these forty dollars and that's just with the foils uh, I could probably tune down and make a more reasonable price deck like just that one right there is just because of the Jessica's will the demonic tutor and the toxic deluge but yeah if y'all if y'all want to see a tuned down version i'm more than happy to do it uh like subscribe and if you want to see more content just uh i have some more decks in the list thank you guys for stopping by and that will be it for today